from Naomi's Home Health. Welcome to the first episode of Be Your Own Doctor. This does not mean diagnosing yourself on Dr. Google or, you know, thinking you know better than doctors or anything like that. Be Your Own Doctor means you don't need to run to the doctor for cuts, scratches, skin infections, headaches, all these things. We need to find out why we have these problems and we can, you know, provide things from nature, remedies from nature um, to help our bodies heal a lot better. So a lot of my friends call me Dr. Naomi because I'm always, I always have a little remedy or a tincture or a cream or something to help them if they, you know, they're always coming to me with something. So the other day my friend Nicola was like, oh, my friend has really infected mozzie bites. They've used cream from the pharmacy. It didn't work. They're still itching it. Now they're really infected. What can you make for him? So I made this. Um, now this is really good for any skin irritation, bites, stings, rashes, um, it's, and it's really important not to run to the pharmacy and get a toxic chemical. Everything that you get in the pharmacy has chemicals in them and synthetic chemicals. Our body doesn't understand it. It goes to our liver to try and be detox because we don't want to use it. We use natural remedies, plant medicine a lot better in our body because plants and humans share the same DNA or have the same DNA structure, I should say. So we're trying to use plant medicine to help our bodies heal. And trust me, the amount of people that say to me, oh my gosh, whatever it was you gave me was amazing. It worked instantly, is crazy. So that is why I have all my friends, family, whatever, come to me and say, make me something. So this is, I swear by this product. It is aloe vera jelly by Forever Living. Um, I can get you this at, um, it is the only gel that I have found for, that with pure aloe vera that is like a, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's like a green, oh, it looks clear on the video, but it has a slight yellowish tinge. A lot of ones that I've used are clear um, color or they've got green added to any of that like banana boat or anything aloe vera like that is not a lot of aloe vera in it. But this is, it has the most aloe vera, it's the most strong. You can ingest this, so if you have a sore throat, a teaspoon of this knocks it out pretty quick. And I've done this before, it works really well. And even I was surprised. So aloe vera has a lot of vitamins, minerals. Um, it's got vitamin C, K, B, all of these things in it. And it's amazing, amazing healing for the skin. So I just pop you know, however much you want. Say you want to make a whole jar of this. I've got a tiny little honey jar here. You want to make a whole jar of this because you've got constant skin irritations or the kids are cutting themselves or um, whatever it is. So I just pop, you know, say that's a tablespoon. Now, this is amazing for the skin. Three essential oils that are so supportive to the skin. One is lavender. I only use doTERRA because I know exactly where they come from. I can look at the batch number on the bottom, type it in and find out where it's come from. They use, they harvest their plants where they're native. So you know you're gonna get a very pure, authentic oil. Plus, um, they're not adulterated in any way, shape or form, which means that they don't have anything added to it. A lot of essential oils, even though they say they are pure, have some things added to them. Um, might be alcohol, um, a more expensive oil might have a cheaper oil added to it that's, that has similar compounds, similar structures. So I only use doTERRA for that reason. I have, I do my research, I've looked at independent studies, I've been to an independent, um, what was like a workshop with a scientist who, didn't like doTERRA when they first come out because it's a network marketing company and that's why it gets a bad rap. But when she actually studied the oils herself scientifically, she did say that there isn't anything that can match doTERRA. So, why I use them? Now, lavender, amazing for the skin. It's a very healing oil. So I'm just gonna pop two drops in there. It's super healing. It helps with pain relief. It speeds up healing. So when you put lavender on your skin, it starts to get the skin to, and the cells to heal straight away. So it's really good for burns. This is also great for burns, this um, little remedy, because it will promote healing. It will cool and soothe the burn. 
Same as like the mozzie bite, you're going to cool and soothe with these two oils. Oh, I'm going to lose me on Instagram. If you're on Instagram and I'm about to run out of battery on this phone, jump over to Facebook, Naomi's Home Health. So, I also have frankincense. Frankincense is scientifically proven to be cellular repair, DNA repair. It is an amazing oil for the skin to help cells repair and really good antiviral, antibacterial, all of those things. I'm just gonna pop two of those in. Um, now, like I said, I only use doTERRA because I know where it comes from. And I've got tea tree, which is native to Australia, and this is where they harvest the tea tree, or melaleuca if you're in the States. And I'm just gonna pop two of that in. Really good antifungal. So, you know, if you've got a toe, fungus, in between your toes, nails, all those things. This is really good for it too. Um, and then you just give it a little swish around. And that is a really good skin remedy that you can keep in your cupboard. You can use it on cold sores. Um, I've even used it on like, you know when you get like, you feel like you're getting a sky coming up. I've used that when you just close your eye and you just pat it over. And literally the next day, the sty is gone. So, it is really, really important to start trying to make your own, uh, hi now, start trying to make your own remedies so your body is using them better, healing faster. These have healing properties. The other thing that is great with natural remedies is I can use this for 20 different things. Mozzie bites, burns, infections, um, any sort of sore throat, cold flu, you can rub it on the chest, antibacterial, antiviral, antimicrobial, when you go to a pharmacy and you get a cream for a rash, basically that's all you're gonna be able to use it for. You're not gonna be able to ingest it. You're not gonna be able to use it for a burn. You're not gonna be able to use it for other things. These are so versatile that you can, you know, they, they do so many different things. So I take this away with me, pop it in like, um, or I might just take the bottle and I always take oils when I go away and I'm always popping it on the kids. A sunburn. You know, you'll wake up the next day with no redness. I can tell you right now, lavender, and you only need the lavender with the sun. Lavender and um, aloe vera is amazing. I know Janelle, who is here on my Facebook right now, she uses aloe and oils and swears by them too. So start to think about how you can, you know, make some things to help your body heal because when we use toxic products, they form free radicals in our body. Free radicals cause oxidative stress, and oxidative stress is the number one contributor to autoimmune, can cancer, heart issues, respiratory issues. Scientifically, you can look it up, pubmed.gov, look up oxidative stress, and you will find out what toxins are doing to your body and what is um, causing cancer and all these things in our body. So we want to try and limit the amount of toxins, and this is so much cheaper. Like. I get, like I will use a dot of that on a big area. I get a lot out of this bottle for $22. And as you saw, I used what, six drops of these. Um, so, you know, you're gonna get a lot out of it. If I'm buying one tube of something for $10, and then I get another tube for something else and something else, I'm, I'm not going to use them for everything. If you have a one-time rash, you've got this one-time cream. So. Basically, we're looking at the versatility of these things. We're looking at the lack of um, toxins and synthetics in them. And we're looking at how our body can use these natural remedies to heal. Like, if you've got something going on in your body and you're using, you know, lavender, say, with, for a burn, it's also very calming to the mind, helps you relax into sleep. So you're also supporting your emotions when you're using essential oils and natural remedies. Whereas synthetic, you're not going to support your emotions, your mental health at all. It doesn't interact with that brain, um, you know, emotional center of your brain. So drop it in the comments if you make start making your own things. Put it like from one to 10, where are you on the scale of making your own products? You know, one being a complete novice and 10 being I make all my own stuff all the time. I know I'm a 10. <laughs> I don't use anything from a pharmacy. It's so much cheaper this way. What did that take me um, 20 seconds to make? Like, don't tell me you don't have any time because, you know, 
that was next to nothing. And now it's made up for several things. Like I've used it on um, my son-in-law's burn that he had the other day. I've used it on the kids. Even just to cool your body down, if you put some aloe vera and peppermint, if you're getting hot flashes, you can just pop them back in your neck. Peppermint's a cooling, soothing oil, and aloe vera is super cooling. So you can put it in a spray bottle and just dilute it with a little bit of filtered water, and you can spray it on if you don't want to touch. You know, you might have a sensitive area. It might be really sore. You can use it um, as spray as well. So keep... Um, every Wednesday I'm going to try and get on and do this uh, Be Your Own Doctor episode and if you have any ideas message them to me and I'll make them on camera for you and I'll you know say who you are or whatever or we can jump on together and make things um, pop it in the comments if you want me to make something and or you know if there's something that you have an issue with that you don't know what to make pop it in the comments and I'll tell you what you can make because it's my area of expertise is helping you heal naturally with natural products.